Hello and a very warm welcome. I'm Natalie MacDonald and you're watching Sydney Direct. Falling oil prices has been weighing on share markets worldwide, an item we've been talking a lot about on Dukascopy TV. My guest today is Dr. Shane Oliver of AMP Capital. He's going to be talking about this fall in prices and its impact particularly on the Australian economy. Shane, Happy New Year to you. Thank you very much for joining us today. Pleasure. Thank you. Okay, so we're talking oil prices, and I guess one of the most obvious sort of downsides of this dip in oil prices is the negative impact really to energy producers subsequently weighing on share markets, something we've seen particularly with the ASX in sort of these opening sessions of 2015. Is this really a, a big risk to economies, particularly such a resources-led one as Australia is? Well, that's certainly what markets have been focused on. So when the oil prices come down, the most visible impact is the impact on energy companies, energy countries like Russia, and so they've all suffered. My feeling is that, uh, yes, we do have to allow for a potential blow up there. There's a good chance that some energy company somewhere will default on a debt payment or might go bust. You might have to see M&A activity. There's a risk of real severe problems in Russia. But at the end of the day, the flip side though, is that as the price of oil comes down, it provides a huge boost to most businesses. The cost of production goes down to households. And I think that will ultimately dominate. So yes, so far the impact has been negative in Australia, around the world, but I think ultimately it's gonna be a big positive impact and that includes in Australia. Are energy producers likely to show some supply restraint then to try and balance out that ratio? Or are we going to need to see prices head a lot lower really for that subsequent action? Well, at the moment, it's a bit like a game of chicken, two cars coming to each other with their headlights on, um, each waiting for the other to blink. And you're seeing that around the world, OPEC have said, we're not going to cut production. Americans saying, we're not going to cut production. Everyone's saying the same thing. Sooner or later, the price declines will force someone somewhere to start cutting production. And the history of these things, though, is that often the price goes a lot lower than you think before you get that supply restraint. So my feeling is that we've still got more downside ahead of us until we see supply restraint. That will ultimately set the floor and then eventually five years, whatever it is down the track, eventually the price will start to rise again. You touched there on a floor. Is there a floor in sight really for this negative pricing? Well, well, well I, I've been thinking around $40 a barrel. Um, if you go back to the GFC, uh, 2008, 2009 period, the price there fell about $78 from the high prior to the GFC, uh, I think mid 2008, to the low um, at the height of the GFC. Um, and likewise, if you go back to the 1980s and early 90s, the price falls then from the peak to the low were around 75%. So if we take the 2008 peak again, put a 75% fall on that, it takes us back down to around $40 a barrel. Um, and I think that's probably where we're going to head. Is it going to be precisely that? Well, probably not. Could be anywhere, but I think somewhere around that range. You speak about this dip in oil prices being sort of a, a positive almost for, for business in terms of that uh, decreasing costs for them. Naturally, also, this leads to lower petrol prices for drivers. Could this dip be a positive for consumers sort of in a, in a roundabout way? I think it's a huge positive for consumers. Um, in Australia here, we, ex we uh, spend quite a lot of money on petrol. It's a big chunk of the family budget. And of course, we've seen the price collapse. At the middle of the year, the average petrol price in Sydney was around $1.55 a litre. Um, now, I've been paying about $1.10, $1.12, but I've seen some stations um, with 99.9 .9 cents a litre. So that's almost a 50%, not a 50%, almost a 30% drop in the price of fuel. So for a typical Australian household that uses up about 35 litres of fuel a week, so far we're seeing a saving somewhere between $14 a week and $19 a week, which is up to about $1,000 a year. So it's quite a saving for households. And some of that money, as this lingers, as the prices stay low, some of that saving will be spent. Um, so that's good, good news for Australian retailers. Shane, thank you so much for your comments today. We look forward to catching up with you more this year. Thank you, it's been my pleasure, that'd be great. Oil price slip, bad news for energy producers, good news for consumers. Our thanks there to Dr. Shane Oliver for his comments and viewers, thank you very much for watching. Until next time, it's goodbye from me.